of the biggest breakout stars of the year. He made his big blockbuster debut in one of my favorites, Crazy Rich Asians. And now he's starring in the middle of a mystery in a simple favor. Give it up for Henry Golding. <laughs> Rocket jump. You, your first movie was as a leading man. That's right. What's the biggest thing that's changed in your life? Um, not being home. I've been on the road for like four months. Like that's the problem with with having like uh, the blessing as well. But having two movies come out within a month of each other, I've been away for about four months, living out of a bag. So finally, at the end of this week coming, uh, I get to go home to Singapore. Oh, so, yeah. That's a long, flight, it's a, long, it's a long flight. It's a long. It's a long flight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you have a brand new profile in Hollywood Reporter, and they refer to you as the new Marlon Brando mm -hmm. or James that, Dean. That's, that, those no. are heavyweights. Those it's, are heavyweights. It's, it's got to be an honor, but is that also intimidating? That's a lot of pressure. Um, I mean, to be in the same sentence as, as, as those names, it's, it's a blessing and it's an honor, but of course it's, it's a little intimidating. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm up for the challenge. I'm, uh, you know, it's, it's something that uh, I think as an Asian leading man, we, we need to break those stereotypes. We just need to be leading men. Yeah. Um, and that's something that we've, we've continued to be so, um, especially in a, in a simple favor. You know, yeah. uh, Sean Townsend, his character, he's mm -hmm. not, he's sort of, you know, he's not described as an Asian, but he, you know, he's married to this beautiful, ethereal, Blake Lively, uh, and you don't quite know where he sits. So that's the type of roles that, that I want to do. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and being that Crazy Rich Asians, your first movie. Your first, yeah. your first movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how incredible is that? I read where you thought you were going to get fired your first Absolutely. week on the set. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why did you think that? We hadn't even started rolling. And, and you do sort of costume tests. Uh, they, they get the full tech crew in. Uh, we put the camera on the dolly and they're like, put you in all the outfits. And I was just like, what do I do with my hands? I'm so <laughs> awkward. I was just like, what do I do? And I was like, I'm definitely getting fired. This is, this is my first and last week on any Hollywood set. Uh, I made it through, luckily. Yeah. But before you had these films, you were a travel host That's right, yeah. for the BBC. Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite place you ever visited? My favorite place has India. India is one of the most magical, beautiful places, especially Rajasthan in the north. Uh, it has a, a very dear sort of space in my heart. Oh, oh we got some right here. We got to watch this. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Elephants <laughs> in the water. I mean, that. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Oh. What's going on here? Hey. Hey, hey, this is I'm daytime a little, TV. Yeah, a little, little scrub went, down. We went for an elephant <laughs> some sort of spa treatment. Wow, guys. It's exfoliating people. <laughs> you can't do that with your clothes on. So this is, that was in a, a Turkish hammam in Istanbul, uh, where they, they literally take off years of your skin uh, through scrubbing, a lot of soap, and, and it's done by a, a very sort of hairy, uh, sinuous man, which is, so it was, it was, it was something to I was kind of in until you said hairy, sinuous man. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like the dead skin, yeah, the, the hairy man, nah, I can do it out. <laughs> well, you made a movie out of doing that role. Yeah. How, what's the first thing that freaks you out? I think memorization and knowing what to do on a set, you, that was yeah. all new to you. You know, you, you, you have a familiarity with the camera. The camera is something that a lot of people are, are kind of scared of. Um, it was really the proximity of, of, of interacting with people. When you're an actor, you, this is all that matters. Everything else you have to ignore and you have to be 100% present. And so once you get your, your, the mentality over that, um, you, you're able to focus and, and really live your character. And we're going to talk about your character in a, in a simple favor. You play with, you're with uh, Blake Lively with Anna Kendrick, two oh, veterans. Oh and who you right. are, right. your, your I'm second movie. I'm the luckiest guy in Hollywood. I'm so not how, how was it on set with them? I mean, they, those two are consummate professionals. Um, I've, I've seen their careers go in this amazing trajectory, both Anna and Blake at the same, but to have them kind of cross paths um, in the film that I'm involved in is, is something that was just like, uh, it's like, pinch me, this is insane. And to have Paul Feig at that, um, mm -hmm. somebody who I revere as a, as a director um, with Spy and Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. And that was just like the cherry <laughs> on top. So good. But I tell you what, we're, we're gonna take a, a look at a clip. Absolutely. How about that? Here with Henry Golden <laughs> and a simple fate. She is an enigma, my wife. That's what drew me to her. It can also make her impossible. She can be so fiercely private. 
Well, she sure doesn't like having her picture taken, I'll tell you that. I remember this one time she shut down my Facebook because I posted up a family picture. Oh, social media is so tricky. You can get close to her, but you can never quite reach her. She's like a beautiful ghost. Can't give away too much, though. You can't give away too much. A lot of intrigue and a yes. lot of twists and turns in this movie. But you said you, I heard you say you were nervous, but you didn't look nervous oh, at all. God. I was freaking yeah. out. <laughs> it, it, any, any right human being in the mind being stuck in a room with, with two amazing women like that, mm -hmm. um, you just like... And, you know, it was funny because uh, I've heard sort of interviews with them and they were like, we, we completely forgot that they, it was his second movie. So sometimes he would come and be like, oh, guys, I just got to tell you, you know, I'm nervous, which I did because that's the way to kind of get break it, it up, get it out. Uh, and they were like, what? And they were like, oh, it's his, like, second movie. So I was like... And He's I was, a baby. Yeah, like, no, I was like... <laughs> yeah, I was like, crafty? What's that? But I'm a huge fan of Crazy Rich Asians. When are the next two coming out? Because there are two oh, more books. Oh, that's on the tip of everybody's tongues. You know, it's, it's been a fantastic... Is that a secret? It, you know, it, it's announced that they're developing. Okay. Um, that they have to write the script. Again, it's a beautiful trilogy from Kevin Kwan. Um, all I can say is that there are definite plans of, of bringing it back. <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.